After the driest January on record, 44 percent of California is now experiencing moderate drought conditions. But the city of Torrance has taken steps towards their goal of 100 percent water independence. At the center of their plan, an expansion of a system that removes salt from their groundwater. Our water is provided through our water department to our citizens at about 50 percent cheaper than other cities. Most cities in L.A. County depend on the Metropolitan Water District, which brings in water via an aqueduct from the San Francisco Bay Delta and the Colorado River. Torrance is becoming less and less dependent on outside sources of water, not just because of the possibility of another drought. Any of those are destroyed by an earthquake or any other disaster, there will be no water supply. So we as an agency, as a city, we have our own well system. But the water coming out of the city's wells isn't drinkable. Back in 1946, a groundskeeper here at Redondo Union High School was using groundwater on the football field when he noticed the turf started to turn yellow. That was the first major sign that salt water from the Pacific Ocean was intruding into the groundwater in the South Bay. And the ocean was able to push its way into the freshwater aquifers and it, and it mixed with the freshwater and created what we call brackish water, too salty to drink. So we're addressing that by pumping that brackish water out, treating it, and creating a potable or drinking water supply out of that. Since 2002, Torrance's groundwater desalter facility has cleaned up 2.5 million gallons of brackish water per day. But with the expansion of the desalter, the system can now cleanse twice that.